I'd like to call the Mahoney County Board of Elections emergency meeting of June 3rd, 2022 at 2 p.m. in the boardroom of the Mahoney County Board of Elections offices at 345 Oak Hill Avenue, Youngstown, Ohio, to order. Would the assistant director call the roll? Ms. Pesta? Yes. Mr. Beecher? Here. Here. Ms. Barker? Here. Ms. Barron? Here. Can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisibly, with liberty and justice for all. May we have a moment of silence for our nation and for the mess that's going on in Europe. Texas. Everywhere. I will now entertain a, a motion to uh, approve the minutes of the May 26, 2022 special regular board meeting. I'll make that motion. There is a, a motion made by uh, Sandra, seconded by Joyce. Is there any discussion? Would the assistant director call the roll? Ms. Carol Pesto? Yes. Mr. Beaches? Yes. Ms. Barker? Yes. Mr. Roth? Yes. Uh, I would now entertain a motion to approve the bills and accounts of payments for the months of May 2022. I'll make that motion for the total of $5,795.82. I'd love to see a total. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any discussion? Would the assistant director call the roll? Ms. Pesca? Yes. Mr. Beatrice? Yes. Ms. Barker? Yes. Mr. Roll? Yes. Uh, the chairman's report, we have to... So I kind of understand this. I'm <laughs> so we have to kind of do what we already did before. And I think we also have to vote on, um, on Ashley Pike's uh, nominating petitions. So um, can we just take it as a whole, or do we have to do it individually? Um, I think you could take it as a whole, except for, um... Well, let's just do it individually. Would we, uh, take a motion to accept the slate of candidates for the State Central Committee Person 33rd District for both the Democrats and the Republicans? Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. Was there a second? I'll she's second on. it. Yeah. I'm on it. She's on the, yeah, she's on the thing, so she can't. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> would the uh, director call the roll, or assistant director call the roll? Ms. Pesta? Yes. Mr. Beatrice? Yes. Ms. Barger? Yes. Mr. Roth? Yes. I think we also have to, uh, once again, vote on the uh, uh, Ashley Pike's filing for state central uh, Republican committee. I believe this, this body has already decertified these petitions on a 3-1 vote, but just to make the record clear, um, will someone make a motion to not accept uh, Ashley Pike's uh, uh, nominating petitions? I make a motion to disqualify Ashley Pike from the ballot. Is there a second? I'll second. S uh, motion made by Joyce Kilpessa, seconded by Sandra Barger. Uh, would, the direct, uh, would the assistant director call the roll? Ms. Pesta? Yes. Mr. Beatrice? Yes. Ms. Barger? Yes. Yeah. Now, regarding uh, Ashley Pike, I have gotten a letter from David Engler saying that um, we should refer this to the Mahoney County Prosecutor. Uh, I, I, I've read it. I don't think that we should. He did what we see many candidates do, and that they don't sign their name and fill out the date before getting the signatures. I don't think it was purposeful. I don't think he was trying to defraud anyone. I'm not making a recommendation of anything. I don't think there's anything that he did wrong that we haven't seen done wrong by dozens of candidates. So, and we've disqualified him. Yeah, and we've disqualified him. So I see no need to make a referral on that. All right, so for State Senator 33rd District, uh, do I have a motion to accept the slate of candidates, both Democrat and Republican? So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll second. Uh, is there any discussion with the Assistant Director call the roll? Ms. Pesta? Yes. Mr. Beatrice? Yes. Ms. Barger? Yes. Mr. Ron? Yes. Uh, for State Representative 58th District, 
We have a, a slate of candidates is Jeffrey Green with Drew. We have a uh, uh, two. I'll take a motion to accept those. So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I'm Sorry, I didn't mean to take way. your. I didn't mean to take your thing, but it seems you know it seems a program vote. I'm just going to do it by affirmation now. Um, now the state's representative 59th district. Uh, I notice we don't have D's or R's next to their names. So can someone tell me who the D and the R is? Is John Tice a D or an R or an independent? They're all Democrats. All the candidates are Democrats. For the 59th. John Dice, mm -hmm. Loren McNally, Ronald Shad, and Wayne Penning. And no Republican file? No. no. Okay. So I'll take a motion to accept the state representatives for the 59th district. Oh my wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to see if I understand this. The August is their election, right? Yes. All right, so that's what's yes. got me confused. So outside of the uh, state central committee person for the men and state representative, there really is no other votes, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. This is an election for two positions. Can I ask a question? Um, and maybe the prosecutor can help me with this. Uh, I have heard rumors that the caucus is going to open it up to allow people to refile. Have any of you heard that? I've to not, heard not that. refile, but to that. file for the position again. You have not heard that? I've not heard that. Have you heard that, Ray, at all? I believe, but I'm not 100% certain that that's part of one of the Supreme Court cases that has been filed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we might be doing this again, folks. Yeah. So just get ready to redo it. But but it's already June, and this election's when? August second. So they we don't have a whole lot of time because when did the Yuba Cava goes out? When do those go out? Sixty days. Seventeen. June seventeen. So if they're going to do something, that's got to be done before I just, the seventeenth. I just heard that it was part. I don't of think the, they have the time. I just don't think we can get it together by then. All right, so we'll all in favor of Only this. one candidate. Yes. <laughs> well, it, when you think of the money Mahoney County is going to spend for two races. Oh, it's terrible. State Central Committee man for the Republicans and the state representative race. And Senate. Uh, state Senate. And no, there's not. Oh, there's not yeah, a Senate. Senate. State Senate. Yeah, no, 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 no. But he doesn't have. That that's this is the primary choice. He means unopposed. I mean, you mean unopposed. I mean, there's yeah. no race in this primary except the 59th district, right? And right. the Republican state central committee man. Right, right, right. right. I see what you're saying. No yeah. So I, my question is, do we have to open up all the precincts, even though there's no race? Yeah. It just seems like a waste of money of ours. It is a waste of money. If they did it by mail, it would be so much easier and so much more convenient, but I don't... So people are going to go vote, and many people are going to have nothing to vote on. Right. So There's going to be one name on the ballot, on many of these people's ballots. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take it by affirmation. We have a... a, a <clears throat> I think Sandy made the motion. Did yeah. Sandy? Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Um, well, let's go that. to the director's report. Uh, we have a motion to authorize the director and assistant director to hire the necessary staff and help for the August 2nd, 2022 primary. If it's 60 days before, wait a minute. It's now. Right? Yeah. They can't reopen it. I mean, yes, they're sending ballots. No, I heard that they're going to put a Republican in the 59th, that they're going to open it up to allow the Republican Party to file someone. But what I'm saying is if the election's August 2nd, and how fast do we have to have you cut out? 60 days before? 17th. So they have less than two weeks to have that happen. Right, because we have to print ballots, too. That's yeah. the reason for today, correct? Right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so do we have a motion for the director and assistant director to hire necessary staff? So moved. Is okay. there a second? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, can we have a, a motion to approve the schedule of classes for instruction for precinct election officials for the August 2nd? 2022 primary election. I'll make the motion. Schedule the classes. Is there a second? I'll second. All in, is there any? Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? It passes. 
the continuation of bids from May 3rd primary election for the August 2nd primary election. What is that about, yeah, Melissa? Yeah, the we already approved that, though, right? Uh, it was with integrated voting. Yeah. I mean, we already approved. We already approved for the first primary. This is our second primary that we'd like to approve it for. Right. Yes. Correct. So we have to go out for bids again? No. Okay. And we did get, we did confer with the prosecutor's <coughs> office. We just wanted to let them know that's what we were doing. All right. So we don't, we don't need to pass anything. Same vendor. Okay. Unfinished business. How is the classes coming for us to go and take the show on the road? So we're working with the Ruritan, uh, which you met Brian last time he was here. Yeah. And they have a meeting once a month, and we got an email back from the library yesterday. So we're getting ready to schedule this. So we want to know out of the four of you who wants to go. And I do. And work with our staff. Okay. I, I, I want to go to as many as possible. But I think, if it's, I think it's important that we have equal representation I mean, in other words, I just don't want to be alone talking to a group. And if Sandy or Bob can't make it, I think Tom should go. Okay. I think we should have a Republican and Democrat there and, okay. and, and be as bipartisan as we can on, a, on how we run elections. Okay? okay? And the, I guess the theme of the topic would be secure elections. You could talk about whatever you We're want. We're just going to talk about how, how, the, process and how the process works, how it is nearly impossible, unless you have 17 people in a conspiracy, <laughs> Okay. to or, or more to because even the audits the audits are never less than 98 99 percent accurate i mean so so people don't know that when those fire sticks come in they don't know that they then we then run all of the ballots compared to the fire stick and then on top of that we then audit by hand count to machine count and i don't think people see that free process and and how you know, yeah. Melissa, are you working on something to show the different processes, aren't you? What goes on about? Is it Andrew and Casey working on something like that? Yeah, well, Casey's coming in on Monday, and we're going to start the social media. And we wanted to know if you guys wanted an additional commercial for the August. Round. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a great okay. idea. Okay, so we'll be working on that on Monday. And she did the did you knows, those spots. She's been filming right. different aspects. She might even come film a little bit of the audit just to. So we have those little snippets. Well, then we have handouts for you with the flow charts and things like that to bring with you. Yeah. I was thinking when they go on the road, it would be nice just explaining it's one thing, but visual is another thing. If we could have a visual of them putting the punch Chris, cards, Chris, yeah. what I would like is if it's possible for us to do a PowerPoint. And we yeah, can take a projector and a screen. I have a projector in my office and a screen. Well, most of the most of the libraries have one. They have it. They have it. All the schools have it. Like yeah, I mean, we can create a PowerPoint. Too. Whatever you do. You can give it to Chris. Chris, you know how to run a PowerPoint, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> and then I could work with you because I use them in my jury trials all the time. Was that different. part of your job specification? <laughs> for, PowerPoint? <laughs> for, the, for the different effects. And it just holds an audience's attention. Yeah, it does. Us. It really does. So we so can. You can use a laptop from here. We can have James do the PowerPoint for you. He's been shadowing Chris. Okay. That would be great. That would be great. Um, and then is it okay if we have Annie send you a list of this pr potential dates and then you guys can sign Yes, it absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. I want to do as many public appearances as humanly possible from now until we reconstitute a board. I mean, I think it's an obligation on us with everything that's gone on with voting to reassure the voters. First of all, it's personal for me, number one. My son's not going overseas and people not voting, it's insulting. I don't care if you, if you vote for the Green Party, the Red Party, the Republican, just vote. People are volunteering their lives to protect act that process. So for me, it's personal. I mean, people not voting, it's insulting to the people that came before them and the shoulders of everyone we've stood on and the blood that's been spilled uh, and the treasure that's been spent by this country to protect the democratic process. So I, I want to go to as many as possible and talk about how important uh, voting is. I mean, it is, it, is, it is crucially important in a democracy that everyone's voice be heard. And That's so, so okay, anything, go ahead. Are we all going to the conference? Is everyone going to go to the conference? They can yes. do it virtually. When? I can do it virtually? No, you're not. You're going. I'm going. <laughs> I can get away from Pam. It's an, it's this one <laughs> <laughs> it's, on, it's an Easton buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My daughter will make me take her shopping now. I so know she will. I, she'll be right there with you, buddy. Right. <laughs> she will. It's only All one right. day. It's only one day? Mm -hmm. Well, it kind of goes yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. And then the one yeah, night. We've got to have one, one night, night of martinis. <laughs> <laughs> August. Yeah, have one night. No, but you're Jack Daniels, right? What's whiskey, though? Well, 
Vodka. Vodka. No. Tea drink. Was it you that drinks the whiskey? No, wine. No, I'm the wine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, and you're drinking the martini. Is there right? anything else for the good of the order or any other public comments? <laughs> Melissa, do you want to talk about the letter that was sent out? Oh, we can. I just brought that in case you wanted to Same. see it. That would probably be a new business. All right, go ahead. Our voting location managers. Did everybody get one? I got one. Um, it, included in the outreach that, yeah, that you talked about for voting, we're trying to make sure we keep our outreach with our polling um, locations. Not only the people that work at the polling locations, but the folks that we rent from. So that was the beginning of trying to keep a relationship going, and also part of our outreach to make sure they were ready for the August 2nd primary for us. Yeah, this is so good. I, I, whoever did this, kudos. Because sure this is how you this is how you touch people. People really like getting letters like this, letting them know, and and having these polling locations is very important. Um, I'm, I'm glad we sent this letter out. Great letter. It's a great letter. I love how we put the staff in there. I do too. And everything. And I think we should do, you know, the more social media presence we have, the more we're out in the public, I think the better off we have. We are. You know, we should be really pumping that Mahoning Votes app that Joyce thought of all herself. Sure. And, <laughs> and got an award for my idea. Anyways. <laughs> You said one mention, one little word. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, um, James did post everything this week on all our social media right. platforms as soon as that uh, primary was announced. And then he also went on there and put the link to where you can find your district if you're not mm -hmm. sure. Um, and the staff, the entire staff, believe it or not, worked on that because we did after elections. Um, they all had to write a report on their role in the election. And we took all of that information. James did the photo. Uh, Jenny, Jill, and Susie went through all of the letters from the VLMs to make sure we knew what issues, if any, they had so that we could address them. Did you go through the letters also? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we did it as a group, and then Good. they did it. And Good. then the, uh, the letters were stuffed by other people who had time to do it, so everybody worked on it. That's yeah, okay. good. I'm, I'm really proud of our staff. I, I got to tell you, from, from, I mean, I think we got a great staff, and I think they make the board look good, and I think that's good for everything. Uh, I think it's good for the state, it's good for the county, it's good for Frank LaRose, even though he's a Republican, but when I'm up here, I'm not a Democrat, I'm making sure that we run elections properly. So I just think it's good all the way around, and the more we go out and touch people, I think uh, the better it is uh, for everyone. So I kudos to the staff. I have one other question. My understanding is that the city, maybe Chris or Danny, you know this, the city changed their ward precincts Yes. So when do we adjust our precincts? When do we have to do that? Before the next primary, because the, the ward before the next city primary. City primary, correct. Okay. Yeah, 2023. All right. I want someone had asked me that, and I thought that was the answer. I said, "Well, look," uh, and they said, "Well, some precincts are in a district and some aren't." Because that happens in every election. There's been streets where they're down the middle. One's in one mm -hmm. district and one's in another. I said, <coughs> "We don't we don't draw our precincts according to the state legislative maps." But for the city voting, yeah. we have until the primary of 2023 correct, yeah. to adjust our precincts, correct? Yes. And you'll work with the mapping department and everything to get that done? Yes. Well, okay. can I ask, Chris, did you get that uh, program that you were looking to get? I'm still looking for a third quote. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. 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 You need another quote? Yeah. Or how many companies do that? Not many. Not many, no. Well, get an opinion from the prosecutor. If we only got two bidding on it, what are we supposed to yeah, do? Yeah, I mean, how long? We don't have that much longer to wait because we also have the other redistricting right. to do. Right. I mean, we got a lot to do. We put it out, right? Yeah. And, we, and when was the time to get the bids in? I was just, I just said, John, for close, we can do an official bid process. Usually. Okay. I don't do we need an official bid process? I don't know if we do for that. I think we do. I'm not aware of all the facts. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to get with the prosecutor. You'll have to you get with the prosecutor. Yeah. Okay, anything else for the good of the order? If not, we will adjourn. I'm going to uh, not be able to make it uh, Tuesday morning, so Sandy will be running the meeting. I will be make, I will make the four o'clock meeting. Okay, with three members here, you could do it and then pull the precincts and then I'll be back at four o'clock. Yeah, we're ready to go. I'll take a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed?
Yeah.